Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning in. I will be reviewing for you, as you requested, Creative Shop number 35, which is the Walking Dead one with the Game of Thrones. I mainly got it for the Walking Dead. So here's a look at it. Now I love how these plates are super, um, what's the word, light compared to my other ones. And I'm going to be using my Creative Shop Stamper with the Starbucks um, ornament holder. Check out that video that I made if you haven't already done so. And this has a clear plastic film that you need to remove. There I am cleaning it with pure acetone. And I'll be trying to plate out with Julie Polish. And form pretty store scraper. I really love using this um, creative shop head stamping stamper head on the Starbucks holder. It gives it a good nice feel to it. It's not light and it won't tip over like the regular metal shots will. So if you guys can get your hands on it, I'd really recommend it. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous design. I mean, skulls and roses. Y'all guys already know I love skulls, so. And these images are all swatching beautifully. Look at how pretty that is. And I really like this image. Now that was completely, I didn't put enough uh, polish on the plate, so I'm gonna try it again. And look at how gorgeous that picked up. Here's Dragon. Again, your Game of Thrones fans will know better than me. That design is also super cool. It's like thorns. Couldn't make up my mind there. Where'd he go next? That's another super pretty image for like reverse stamping, coloring it in. Haven't seen that image on any plates. Yeah, I don't care for that guy. <laughs> He's yucky looking. But then again, I do like what The Walking Dead, so. Look at the pretty flowers. Just look at the flowers. And I'm guessing these are shots. I don't know. Shots, blood splatter. Yeah, that guy's creepy looking. <laughs> Those look like skin scratches or tears. And I'm pretty sure these are brains, but they also look like guts. So I guess it's whatever you make it. And I love this long image. So many things to pick from. And look at the attention to detail 
like the nails on a zombie, those teeth, that guy with the, the weird eye, it just swatched beautifully. And that was completely me not putting enough polish on there or scraping the wrong way. Or probably a combination of both. Don't mind the cat hair. I had just uh, switch taken off the previous um, paper, so it's super sticky. There are the swatches, and this is the mani that I came up with. Unfortunately, the top coat that I put on killed the hollow, but I did the roses. I mean, that yeah, those roses down there with the skull, but I couldn't fit the whole thing on my nails, which is okay. You can still make it out. So I'll just do one nail to show you guys. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame here. Again, I'm using my point and shoot, so I can't see what I'm doing. And I got this uh, Milani top coat on sale at the drugstore. Don't use it on your hollow polishes. It was nice and quick drying, but don't use it on your hollows. And here is a picture of the Manny. I was getting ready to switch polishes, so don't mind the grown out Manny. So I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you on the next video. Bye.